Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the best methods in gaining points in Arena. If you follow these tips and these methods, then you'll be in Champions League in literally days. And real quick, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm almost at 20K, I appreciate you guys. The first thing I'm going to mention is something that you may or may not have heard yet. And that's that in this season, they actually changed some of the scoring in Arena. And why that applies to this video is because you guys need to know the most optimal mode to play for maximum point gain. Before it used to be a decent struggle to gain points while playing trio arena this season that's not really the case trio arena is now actually pretty comparable to solos the objectively best mode for gaining points is still up for debate what i would say if you have a really good skilled trio then go for it go play trio arena if you have a really skilled squad then it's a lot more fun to play trios than it is solos anyways so if you have that option it's definitely not a bad idea to go grind it out with a trio however in my opinion i think that solo arena is just a tad bit more more optimal. Basically, here's the new point breakdown of Arena in Season 7, and it gives a really good breakdown on the point system this season, and if we compare from last season to this season, you can obviously see the big buff. So like I said, solos might be more optimal, but trios are definitely a lot more fun. Although, solo Arena is still nice because it's only you, so you don't have to pay the price and lose points for other teammates' mistakes. You don't have to be waiting on anyone, it's just you and your skill. But let's move on to the topic of drop spots in early game. One huge mistake that I made last season which really just demotivated my grind to champions league was that i only used one main drop spot now when you're thinking of like dreamhack fncs these big tournaments and you're watching these pro players that are playing in these tournaments you see that they go to the same spot every single time they learn that spot down to a t and for them it's really important that they do that it's important that they land the same spot every time they know the teams around them they know all the rotations however these hundred or so players in each region are literally playing against the top players in each each region. We're not them, we're just some sweaty players playing arena. So with that being said, I would highly suggest having multiple drop spots that you're comfortable with landing at. Last season, I went to the Pleasant Spire every single game, no matter if the bus was right over top of it, as far away as possible from it. And I never took the time to get comfortable with any other spots. And I think that for one, I got really bored of it because I was literally going the same spot game after game after game. And two, if it was like a hot drop and I wasn't getting the best drop, I was literally screwed. So this season, I have three or four different spots I'm comfortable with going. And what I like to do, because I don't like fighting early game and I play on like 65 ping, so I'd like to try to avoid people. So to accomplish that, out of the four POIs I'm comfortable with landing at, I'll land at the one furthest away from the bus. And I do that every game, so it switches it up, it keeps it fresh, it keeps it fun, and it's actually helpful in not seeing anyone off spawn ever. That's gonna kinda tie into the next tip or the next method, and that's that if you're specifically just trying to gain points, you just wanna get to Champions League as efficiently as possible, then you'll wanna do the same thing that I do and land at very unpopulated spots and get fully looted up before you even see another person. In doing this, you never have to take like an RNG fight off spawn hoping you get a better gun than the other player when you have good weapons you have full shield you have full mats that's when you should be leaving your poi and potentially looking for a fight next thing is play according to your points this means if you're in division one you're at zero points you just start arena you're gonna want a w key the early divisions of arena are pretty easy especially here a week or two into the season the players that are still there are either ones that were slacking at the beginning of the season or the ones that are just not very good and can't gain points so chances are they're decently bad players. You can W key, you can get high kill wins, you can gain points really quickly. And the point where you should stop W keying is different for every single person. It's different based on the time of the season it is. If it's later in the season, you're probably gonna be able to W key all the way up until division seven. If it's early season, you might only be able to W key to division two or three. But it also depends on your skill. If you're in like division five and you notice while you're W keying, you die one or two times in a row, it's probably time to stop w king and play more for placement play a little more conservatively once you get to that point you want to completely make a 180 and take your fights slow and methodical especially when you're on higher ping i'd say probably 40 or above don't just w key into people's boxes you want to take fights slow you want to make sure you get quality shots off because when you start to play fast and you start to rush stuff you give up shots on yourself and you just make yourself a way easier kill so w key until you can't and then play slow and methodical all the way up 
up to the rest of the champs. With that being said, don't be so worried about losing points. This is something that even I still struggle with. Sometimes I am so hesitant to take fights in arena and I'm not that bad of a player, but in my mind, I just think that I'm going to get ran through. But that mindset is holding me back so much because there's probably a good portion of players in the lobby that I would be able to wipe in a fight so easily. So I'm actively making my games more boring. I'm actually losing out on points by not taking some of these fights that might be easier. Now this doesn't mean just go and push everyone and act like a madman. You still only want to take fights where they make sense. Don't fight way deep in zone if you guys got to rotate. Obviously use your head, use your game sense. You want to still take fights that make sense. But if you're like me and you know that you're decent at the game but you're really hesitant to take fights, then lighten up a little more. Don't be so scared about losing points. And the last tip that I'm going to leave you guys with is make sure to play consistently, but also take breaks. I know it's hard, but if you get absolutely like ran through, take like a 10 minute break and come back and play another game. This is the number one reason why I didn't make it to Champions League last season. And that's literally because I would get on thinking, all right, I'm gonna grind arena for a couple hours. I would get smoked in my first game and I just get salty and get off. If you wanna make it to Champions League, you gotta grind through that. You gotta queue back up into another game or take like a 10 20 minute break and come back to it i'm gonna give it another go this season we'll see how it goes but as always like subscribe and i hope to see you guys in a future video